My name is Dwayne Brazel. Uh, I went to work for the fire department in December of 1969. I retired in May of 2003. Well, my name is W.W. W. Bill Smith, and I date back a long ways into Plano. I started the school here in 1930, and I uh, moved away in 52, and then we moved back to Plano, uh, be two years in Ju uh, January. Well, my name is Hollis Adkins. I've been in Plano since 1958. I was captain 22 and a half years out of my well, 61. I was one paid in 1966, March the 1st. I stayed till July the 31st of 1991. I was the first man to drive an ambulance out of fire station when. Funeral homes couldn't keep them no longer because they had to have, the state required them to have men around the clock. As a volunteer, we had to do, do everything. The first one there usually caught the driver uh, position, but uh, I drove it many times. I was the engine driver, like I said, one of the volunteers in the page, and I was on one hour and we had a house fire come in and I drove the engine to the fire the first day I worked. And I drove the engine a long time. And I have drove the booster, the helmets, and I drove, I drove about everything. We had the old 1929 Peter Perch, which is 80 years old now. It wasn't a first line truck when I was working. Uh, we did, like with all the other trucks, uh, it, set in the station because we only had one station when I went to work. And uh, you'd crank it in the morning, wipe it down, dust it off, make sure the fuel level was fine, oil levels, just general maintenance like we did any other fire truck because it did set in the background and could be used if had to be. And uh, of course my father was the paid station keeper 24-7 uh, and he uh, uh, only got to be off when he paid someone to, to work for him. But uh, there were 25 members in the volunteers. And we had uh, two vehicles and then we bought a, a van that was used to, as a light truck for night fire. The truck uh, the, the perch, my father died as, uh, of a heart attack while he was in the department. And uh, the truck was stripped of all uh, hoses and everything, and it was used as a funeral coach to carry him to Wrestling Memorial Park where he's buried. And it's, it has a significant uh, meaning to, for me. I, I drove that thing a whole lot in parades. And I was telling, telling them a while ago that I took it to Wiley one time to a parade and run over and after the parade was coming back and a sandstorm blowed in. And you can look at it and see there's no windshield. I had trouble getting from Wiley back to Plano driving that thing. Sandstorm back then is a bad one. And it, I, couldn't, I couldn't see nothing. One of the older firemen, his name was Max Spurgeon. He and I used to get out there. I was amazed because of the old engine in it had two spark plugs per cylinder, ran off of a distributor and a magneto, and we played around with it to see how slow we could make the engine run. I remember the YMCA burnt real, real good. I spent nine days in the hospital over there when that whole block burned at 15 place in K. We went in at five o'clock and got off at eight o'clock the next morning. During that time, we'd called in Richardson, McKinney, Frisco, anybody we could find to help us fight the fire. And they ended up bringing the old perch over and hooked a hydrant and pump on one corner of the building with it. Uh, I got in some of that blue film that was burning the you know tape 
and is putting a blue flame out and I breathe some of that and it messed up my lungs and I got pneumonia and I think I believe it was either seven or nine days in the hospital over there. The last time it was pumped was in the early 70s when the YMCA burnt. Uh, that was the last active use and the city decided to retire the fire truck after that. Some of the city fathers wanted to sell it, just get rid of it. And some of the shop because, you know, it was old, couldn't get parts for it. Uh, several of us firemen, I didn't have much clout being a young fireman, but some of the older ones, we, we wanted to keep it. I mean, this is the first factory built fire truck the city of Plano ever owned. It was pretty bad shape. We took it and tore it all down and took the Walkershaw engine out because you couldn't get the parts for it and put a six cylinder Chevy in it. We convinced them if they'd keep it, we would restore it. We all got everybody together. We had a warehouse down off of 14th. They gave us a good deal on. We pulled it in there. There must have been 20, 25 of us showed up. And we did a frame off restoration. We stripped it down. At that point in time is when the real work started and uh, started sandblasting, things like that. And I think there was about five or six of us that showed up at after that point in time to work on it. But finally got it down, got it sandblasted, primed. Didn't have the expertise really to do a good paint job and the high school kids uh, took it over the body shop and painted it and then several of us put it back together. Uh, one of the firemen, in fact, uh, Terry Box's dad was a volunteer in McKinney and a fireman up there. He also had an upholstery shop. He did the upholstery on the seat and uh, a lot of people just contributed to it. I would like to see the truck be refurbished and made as a parade vehicle for the fire department. I think it would be something that uh, would be an asset to the department and, and an asset to the city as well.